worship you today, Lord. Greater is he that lives in me, yes. Greater is he that lives in me, yes. Greater is he that lives in me, yes. Greater is he that lives in me, yes, than he that lives in the world. Oh, he is greater, greater, he is greater, greater, he is greater, greater, he is greater. He is greater, greater. He is greater, greater. He is greater, greater. He is greater. Oh, he is greater. You are welcome to another series of our belief program. Today we'll be looking at what do you hope for? What are you hoping for? Hebrews chapter 12 verse 1 says, now faith is the um, uh, substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Alright? You have a hope and you have a belief of what God can do for you. God is not a man. The Bible says that whatever he makes a promise, he keeps his promise. And the Lord will keep his promise to you in Jesus' name. What are you believing God for? What is that thing that you have put your trust and your hope in? I want you to be ready to receive that even as you are watching me in your homes now in the name of Jesus Christ. He says, your faith brings about a strong attraction of God's favor into your life. Do you trust God enough? Is your faith strong enough? Whenever Jesus healed the people, he said, go, your faith has made you whole. The woman with the issue of blood, when she came from behind and touched the hem of his garment, Jesus turned back and said, who touched me? And people said, ah, Jesus, all these people around you, how can you be asking who touched you? But the woman trembling came forward and Jesus says, woman, thy faith has made you whole. Do you have that kind of faith that's sitting in your home right now I don't know what it is that you are trusting God for. I don't know what you believe him for. You believe God for healing. You believe him for a new job. You believe him for promotion. You believe him for a wife. You believe him for a husband. You are believing God for a child. Do you have faith? I want you to stretch forth your hands towards me as you are watching right now and say, Father, I receive. I have faith that I receive my child. I have faith that I receive my husband. I have faith that I receive my job. I have faith that I receive promotion. I have faith that I receive healing concerning that sickness. Your faith will work great wonders for you. I want you to reach out to the Lord in faith this hour, even as we are speaking. As you trust God, he will arise for you. Lift up your hands once more and let us pray. Father, I thank you for your children. I bless you, Lord, because everyone that is listening, wherever they are, Father, stretch out your healing hand upon them in Jesus' name. That woman on the sick bed right now, listening to me, Father, heal her in the name of Jesus. Let your healing power come upon her. That woman with arthritis in her feet, having pain, having challenges, I ask that, Lord, your healing balm will reach her in the name of Jesus. Father, that person trusting you for a new job that is despondent, is weak, Lord, I pray that they will arise in faith as they go out from tomorrow. You will begin to have multiple job offers in the name of Jesus. As you step out, your business will, reduce, will receive a new lease of life in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. Believe, and it will happen in Jesus' name. God bless you.